today's video is a DIY on some shirts or dresses if you want to call them. I use them as swimsuit cover-ups, but they're basically some really cute just like do-it-yourself tops that you can wear in the summer. I think they're perfect to wear over swimsuits, but I mean you can wear them as a shirt, a dress, whatever you want. Because I haven't done a DIY video in a while, so I thought this one would be a fun one to do, so let's get started. Okay, so for this one you need a t-shirt, some scissors, and some studs. I just picked these round ones from Michaels, but you can use whichever studs you want. Okay, so now cut about an inch around your collar and then flip your shirt over because we're going to be taking the scissors and cutting straight up the back of the shirt. The back only, not the front. We're just going to cut a, st a straight line down the middle of your back, stopping about an inch or two before the your new collar and then just cut that piece in half as well and just keep dividing all of your sections in half until you have as many strands as you want. I made quite a few. And I'm just taking the studs and mapping out where I want to put them. I'm making this diamondy pattern, but of course you can make whatever pattern you want using the studs, but I thought this looked best and it was kind of really easy. So I'm just kind of mapping it out to make sure I have enough studs for the pattern that I want to do. So this is what the pattern is going to look like once I'm all done. So I'm just going to take the scissors and use the metal part of the scissors to kind of push in the studs because I'm just shoving both the two little strands into the stud. But since I'm trying to save my fingers, I'm just using the metal part to like bend the prong down of the, of the stud. It's a lot easier that way. And that's about it. It's super simple and it does not take much time at all either. But it ends up being super cute and it reminds me of like a mermaid. Now for this tie-dye dress, you will need a tie-dye kit, a large white t-shirt because you're going to be wearing it as a dress instead of a shirt, some rubber bands, and some needle and thread. Oh, and of course some scissors. Now lay out your shirt and pinch the center of where you want your swirl to be. Swirl the shirt around your pins until it's like compact into a big swirly. And then taking your rubber bands, you're going to want to put three rubber bands around your shirt to make six sections like a pizza. Now squirt your dye into each section. Try not to overlap your colors. Of course the dyeing part of this is obviously optional, but I thought this makes it look a lot cuter. But if you just want to use a plain shirt for this process, of course you can. So you can completely sk skip this dyeing process. When you're done tie dyeing, place your shirt in a plastic bag and leave it there for about 8 to 14 hours. I just left mine overnight and then wash it out in the bathtub. Throw it in the washer and wash it by itself and change it to hot water and large size load. Starting about one and a half inches below the bottom of your sleeve, cut one sleeve off of your shirt creating a U shape and then use that as a pattern to cut off your other sleeve. Make sure to save at least one of those sleeves for later on because we're going to use it later. Flip your shirt over to the back so the back is face up and then cut the back sleeves of your shirt making the holes bigger only on the back. Don't cut any of the front for this part. Just making like a racer back shape. Now flipping back over to the front again real quick, we're gonna cut off two inches from our collar because we're just gonna make our own new collar. Flip to the back of the shirt again and cut a straight line about an inch below your collar, cutting your racer back completely off. Cut your racer back strip into three even pieces and you're gonna wanna pull on these because we are going to make a braid. I seriously don't know why this lighting is making my arms like look so orangey tan. Like I'm really not that dark in real life or that orange. Like I swear, I don't know what's going on here. So braid your three strips all the way to the top and then sew a few stitches at the end of your braid to hold it all together. I'm just trimming off the sides of my halter strap to make it look more neat. And then we're just gonna fold that over and sew on the braid onto our new collar. You can fold the collar in half to find out where the middle is, but it should be pretty simple. So you're just going to want to sew that on. Now we're taking our sleeve that we cut off earlier and you're going to want to cut off one strip of fabric from it, about one inch wide and four inches long. This is going to cover the stitching that you just did on the top of the braid. So once you complete this final step, then you're done with the whole dress.
For this last DIY, you will need the same basic things, just a t-shirt that's a little too big for you, some scissors, and a thread and needle. To start, you're going to turn your shirt over to the back and cut a very thin racer back, about two, maybe three inches wide. And I'm not very good at eyeballing things, so I'm just kind of drawing it with an old like white eyeliner that I don't really use. But if you're good at eyeing things, then go right ahead and cut it, but I'm just going to trace things out just for like my own peace of mind. Now cut your racer back strip into three little strips and braid them all the way to the top. So here's just a preview of what we were going to do to the other side just so you can see what we're kind of going for here. We're going to cut the other side into three big strips and then cut each of those strips into three little strips and you're going to braid each of those just like the other side shows. Once you're done cutting each strip into three little pieces, don't forget to pull on the strands to make them easier to braid. This helps out a lot. This is what it should look like once you've repeated all of those steps. And now we're going to combine all of the braids by sewing them together, basically by joining them all with the middle braid. Even if you are not the best sewer, this is still really easy to do. It's just a couple simple stitches through the sides. We're going to cut both of these sleeves off completely and folding the two flaps of your collar up, just clean up the edges a little bit and then we're going to cut them into three strips and braid. Whoops, I forgot we're going to cut off the collar first. I would say cut off at least an inch around the collar to give yourself some room and then we're going to cut the sides into three strips and braid. Lastly, just join your new collar braids together with the middle back braid and then you are done. Just sew them together with a couple stitches. Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Not you know, not me, not you, not you know.